Now, Mr. Yeah, Pierce, I think you had some comment on debt service and so you forth. Move, do you want to move it first? Yeah, well, wait one second here. I okay. move 26. No, million. two. 2,476,000. 2.476549. Yes. I'll million second. dollars. I will debt service to the final review. You can move the 26 if you want. That's the whole budget. Yes. I wasn't quite sure. Second, that's what we're doing. Pay attention because it's getting late. Mr. LeBranch has seconded. Okay, so you've got your principal, you've got your interest, and you've got your interest on the tax anticipation borrowing, and that would be for the treasurer. Okay, so you're showing the indebtedness for 2017 and what we owe on debt, the bonds, 2476549 a decrease of 17.35%. Mm -hmm. You understand the intent? Yes. In favor? Uh, excuse me, we're going to have no discussion on this? Well, then... Put your hand up if you want to discuss. Well, you began by saying, Mr. Pierce, voice. I believe you have something to say on uh, this. That's right. You cut me off, so I said oh. the hell with it. <laughs> I mean, I'm following your rules, Madam Chairman. Okay. You're well, a good speak. man, Mike. That's okay. right. Jump in. Good speak. Mike. Go ahead. Good okay. Because you uh, really did have a question. I did have some uh, notes I made about this earlier. It's The budget's been presented as a 1.11% increase in spending. However, when you look at debt service going down by a little over half a million dollars, 519749 okay, that means that this increase in spending for 17 is actually going up to 814957 over 16. So that's a significant change. That's 3.5. That's one of the highest dollar amounts we've had for an increase in many years, okay, going back over the record. So, what I'm trying to say to everybody here, here is from, 19, from 2008 to 14, the taxes on an average single family home went up from, from 5909 to 5989. 1.3 over that period of time, increase in taxes. When you look at 14 to 15 and 15 to 16, they went up 8%. Okay? Social Security went up 0.3% in the last two years. So we're out spending Social Security by multiple numbers there. So I think you need to look at this budget and going through and get to see all these generous pay raises and say, where did they come up with an $814,000 increase in spending to go to 17 for the budget we're looking at compared to the one we're in right now? That's almost a million dollars, folks. That's significant. The last time we had something that bad was when the but the voters turned down the 2004 budget, I think it was, when they asked for 22%. Mm -hmm. This is getting out, outrageous, too. So we have to look at that. We ought to look at these raises. We ought to take some of that stuff and chop it out. Yeah. And if you don't have the nerve to do it, don't complain to me about your tax bill when you get it. Because it just keeps going up and up and away. And people will say, oh, well, my taxes didn't go up much this year. But that was because we reevaluated. They brought on new properties. And the reevaluation, re some of the properties got significantly increased in value. Okay, so your average tax bill probably went up significantly. If you'd look at the average house being at a little over four hundred thousand, so you have to keep that in mind. If your tax bill went up already before we even approve a big tax increase, like I mean a big spending project like this or a budget like this, your tax is going to just keep going up and up and away. If you have a 3% increase for five years in a row, you say, oh, that's 15%, but when you compound it, which it is in the budget, that works out approaching 20%, something like 19 and some change. And if you look at Social Security in five years, that's not going to happen. If you're on a fixed retirement thing, that's not going to happen. So the only way you're ever going to keep up with this kind of spending, if you live in Hampton, is to be making more and more money every year. And not everybody does that. So that's all I wanted to say about this when we go into the debt service. Basically, what we've been given here is a $500,000 gift, if you want to say that, but they've managed to spend it in this budget, plus two ninety-five, two hundred ninety-five thousand. So we got to really be tight when we're going to this budget with the salary increases and everything else. We just can't afford it, folks. At least I can't. Christy, can you address that with the debt service being retired? 
<coughs> the debt service that has been retired? Mm-hmm. The debt service is going down, right? Yep, right. the debt service right. is going down. We right. lost the recycling the and the SRF refinancing payment. There's a total of $452,104. Mm -hmm. How much was the so-called recycling? Recycling? <coughs> it's in Appendix C, I think. <coughs> And are those for those articulating on dump trucks, or are they for the barrels, or what is that? Everything. All of it. It was the recycling equipment. It was um, from 2011, I believe. Correct. This is when you were selectman, Mr. Pierce, right? Yeah. 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 This is a bill we paid off from when you were selectman. Yes, and the reason why the spending went, did go up in 13, I might add, is the, that's when the New Hampshire uh, retirement system got jumped out of the supporting that system. Mm -hmm. That was in 13. And also, it was the first year of union contracts that hadn't we hadn't had any for six years going into that, and it was the first full year of union contracts. So it was about two hundred fifty thousand for police and two hundred fifty thousand increase in fire that year. So there was a, that was a high year. It had seven ninety five. Well, you know, but this year is topping that. We don't have any of those problems this year. From uh, from from my point of view, Madam Chair. Uh, what we did was we had some years ago made an investment, if you prefer, in terms of doing, uh, lowering expenses for, relative to primarily recycling, but collection in general. Is that accurate, Fred? Mm -hmm. Made that investment back when you were a selectman, Mr. Pierce, and uh, it was like taking a second mortgage out in your house to to to, uh, to remodel, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And now we've paid that off. That's the most significant payoff this year. And uh, we, we sit back in our household budget and we say, oh, great, that second mortgage is now paid off. Right. Mm -hmm. But why is the annual budget going up right. when it should be going down? We should have more discretionary money to spend. Right. right. And it's not there. There's actually less. And that's exactly your point, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Because you think a $500,000 obligation would be significant enough that it might even cause the budget... Uh, to go down this this particular item that we moved and are about to vote on Madam Chair is the, is the single biggest savings in the entire budget this year right? Probably, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and it's it is all wiped out by other things in the budget plus some which is Mr. Pierce's point now all those things that are wiped out were probably good we're gonna look into that later I guess on the night when we're not enjoying the bums rush <laughs> we're ready to vote on that thing. thank you Madam no, Chair I don't know because oh, do you want <clears throat> Christy, is this something you want to get back to us on, or well, no, the, well, debt service is, is what debt it is. Service is what it is. Debt service is what it is. Debt service is what it is. It's been reduced. There's in the new number. In conjunction with the whole budget, there, there's the number: two yes. million four hundred and seventy six thousand five hundred and forty nine. Madam Chair, that's, that's the number. The question: Where did the savings go? Right. Is all over the place in the budget book. Right. right. Okay. okay. So and that's our job is to discern it when we're not in such a rush. And that's why, I, want, and that's why I wanted to bring it up at the first the meeting well, before we started right. okay. being so generous with all the items going along, Madam Chair. Right. So all those in favor of the motion of the debt service, please. That's, but, wait a minute. That's okay, a wait problem. one second. I, the, this reflects accurately what the current debt, debt, serv what the debt service what the for debt next year will be. Next year. Right. Exactly. But okay, that's the number. It's Mr. not Mr. Pierce has asked a place. question in conjunction with the entirety of the budget because of the reduction in the debt service. I believe okay. he made a statement. Obligation. Could I, could I make a statement yeah. in, as well then? Okay. The stuff that we've passed tonight so far, I have not seen $800,000 worth of spending. So perhaps it's in a different budget somewhere else. We certainly have not passed $800,000 worth of increases tonight. A few 3% increases don't amount to 800000 so... No, we had to get a couple hundred thousand tonight and a couple hundred thousand the next night. We didn't we'll get there. We didn't, even, we didn't even do a $200,000 increase, so... I just it to has to all add up somehow, Steve. It, I know it does. In any case, that's the number for the okay. debt service for next year. It's yeah. not going to change. Is everyone prepared to vote Indeed. on the debt yes. service? My favorite. Total. There you go. Okay. And... Would you clarify that? Unanimous. Would you clarify the, the statement for me, please? After all this talk, I'm confused. Yes. What are we voting on exactly? We're words? voting on the requested amount of money to meet our debt service obligations in 2017, and that's the two million four seven six five four nine. Okay. It's perfunctory anyway, because even if we didn't fund it, we'd still have to pay for it by law. Okay. okay. You don't actually have to vote. 
Thank you. We vote. We finish voting. We like to call. Everybody is in favor. Okay. Yeah.